You know, out of all the positive things that the internet has brought, where we can have all this information at our fingertips and we can be in contact with people from across the world in ways we couldn't ever before, and how we can discuss things that we normally couldn't discuss, I think the internet has actually brought more negativity to our society and has made us into not as good of people as previously. There is someone who I can't remember the name of and it's driving me nuts because I had went on an unsubscribing spree for a little while there and was hoping to resubscribe to people but I can't remember his name. He had a heart attack several months back and he makes a lot of videos uh, when he's uh, in his car. You just, you just see the, the view of, it's like a dash cam. And at one point he said that shame can be a good thing. And at the time I just completely disagreed. I, I was almost, I was kind of appalled at it. But then, but now I'm kind of realizing, well, you know, previously, When someone would try to discuss something that's a ridiculous concept in person, they would be met with people saying, uh, no, <laughs> no. But the way it is now, bad ideas get coddled. All ideas get coddled. And people will surround themselves with yes-men. People will be in an echo chamber. And so bad ideas are allowed to flourish just as much as the good ideas. And something Robert Wallace had said at one point to uh, one of my videos was that, well, we are still like kids. We are still like children. We are, it is still like high school. And that's when the scenario allows for it. Usually life forces us out of that. But the internet puts us right back there. It puts us further back than high school. It puts us into like elementary school. And it's like we're a bunch of children who have never been told no. I'm sure you've seen how children act when they uh, they never get told no, where they where they get allowed to do anything they want. And that's kind of like what the internet is like. But then add to it anonymity. People that are anonymous, who really have no consequences for their, for their actions. And that's kind of what we've become. So bullying is, there, there's really nothing to stop bullying. In real life, there would be real life, you know, there would be consequences. But on the internet, there are none. And it's so much worse when people are anonymous. Then there's the mob mentality. The hive mentality that happens. Then there's the peer pressure. Then there's the peer pressure to bully. It's like all the worst things about humanity, all the worst things that humans can be, flourish on the internet. And there have been points where I've talked about how it's around the late 90s when there's a creative flow that just sort of died around then. We didn't really see much more new stuff happen in movies, in music, 
in all of the forms of entertainment, it just turned into refining things. And initially I had sort of, well I kind of blamed it on the economy or blamed it on the Bush administration, but a lot of this stuff has gotten worse. There was a, a couple years ago there was a little bitty uptake up, uh, our creative flow kind of went up a little bit, but then it, it, it didn't last long. And I think it's primarily because of what we've become as a society because of the internet. The internet has changed our culture entirely. And there's some people that go, oh, it's just the internet. Just the internet? Pay no attention to the social media behind the curtain. <laughs> um, and we've become so polarized. And I know I've made a bunch of videos about how polarized we are, but it's, it's not getting any better. It's just getting worse and worse. And I'm just wondering what... There's going to be some point where something happens and we have a realization where some of this stuff comes to an end or it comes to a head. And the scary thing is not knowing how that's going to occur when that's going to occur. Will it, will it occur out of a war? Will we have a civil war? Will there be fighting in the streets? Will there be legislation that tries to police the internet? What's going to happen? And it's funny when, when people do really, really get into that bullying mindset. When someone tries to stop it, they'll say, you're, you're suppressing free speech. And all I can picture is bullies on a playground in elementary school. And when someone tries to stop someone from bullying another kid, they respond by saying, stop suppressing my free speech. There should be some sort of meme like that or something, you know? This is the point where... Yeah, I mean, the bullying is what ends up sometimes being the attempt to tell people, no, that viewpoint is bullshit. But it doesn't do any good. It just makes everyone, everyone, more childish. More like an elementary school playground. Prior to when playgrounds looked like enlarged toddler toys. Yeah, it's the free marketplace of ideas. A lot of bad ideas. A lot of echo chambers. A lot of bullying. We're all a bunch of kids who have never been told no in our lives. And when we do get told no on the rare occasions, we jump up and down and go, no, no, I want to... 